Good afternoon all, CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Monday afternoon, December 12th. We are looking at Window Trader's market profile of the ES and SPY. So in the bigger picture, nothing changed today. The market pretty much did what we thought it would do, which is stay in balance for all three time frames for the S&Ps. We head into tomorrow's CPI, and <clears throat> we'll see what comes out of it uh, after 8.30 tomorrow morning. And then again, we have the Fed on Wednesday. What did happen today, though, is we did now look, like I told the trading room, and I was in and out throughout the day, we had a triple distribution day. I said, I don't care if we close above the 20-day moving average in SPY, which looks like we might have. I don't care if we go out with a double or triple distribution day. It all means nothing going into tomorrow and Wednesday, right? The bigger picture is we're in balance on the monthly, weekly, and daily, plain and simple, okay? What, what, what occurred today? Short covering, more short covering, right? The market tried to push lower earlier. We couldn't even get, this was a 13 wide park um, overnight. We couldn't even get that. We did not take out yesterday's low. The market traded in balance for the first three time frames and then the fourth time frame started going up and we finally went trend. We held single prints here. Textbook afternoon pullback in H. We wore eight wide, never got nine and then go out with two more sets of single prints and a price probe. So pretty impressive. But again, is it really impressive or is it just short covering? It's just short covering. Triple Q's, afternoon pullback, 10 wide, and a double distribution day with a price probe. IWM, double distribution, they had single prints in B and C. They did not hold any up here. They did probe. They go out eight wide with an afternoon pullback low in H. So um, the bottom line is before the number, some shorts just starting to cover. I did not trade today at all. Um, again, if I do trade this week, it's going to be very light. Um, still, this this takes a lot out of you, uh, what, what, what my body went through, so I don't mind sitting here. Certainly, we'll be here tomorrow morning um, to see uh, what transpires once the market opens and everything, but I will be taking it nice and slow, but I will be here to do the videos and hopefully give us a really good picture of what the market is attempting to do. Um, as far as trades today, if I had taken any trades early on when I was here, there was nothing I really would have taken. I was not here when we went, ended up going trend. Absolutely would have looked for a long in H period at some point. Now, we did not miss filling those single prints by a lot. So I don't know if I would have gotten picky and not gotten the long because I might have waited for those couple of ticks uh, to fill or a couple of pennies. So, you know, I'm, again, I'm as honest as I can to you guys and gals. So I'm not sure if I would have gotten involved uh, to start or would have waited to see if those single prints filled. But other than that, maybe I would have faded a couple of new highs um, in F, G, H, and things of that nature because we weren't getting any distance. But I'm not really sure what I would have done. And I was here kind of late in the day just watching um, as we took out Friday's high. So as far as destinations, on the downside in ES, we have the price pro bells high of 18.75, single prints 14.75 to 04.75. Second set, 0325 to 9850. H is afternoon pullback low of 8650. And then our first set of single prints from today, 84 and a quarter to 8375, and today's low of 69. For the upside, you have today's high of 26 in SPY. For the upside, we just have today's high of 398.95, then 399.99. And then single prints 400 to 400.03. For the downside, and then 404.93, which is last week's high. For the downside, price probe is 398.25. Single prints 397.86 to 396.88, almost a dollar. Second set 396.74 to 25. Afternoon pullback low, H is low of 395.08. Single prints 394.88 to 87, only two little cents down here. And in today's low of 393.41. And then, just quickly <clears throat> on the chart. So, here's a daily. So, we're in a five-day balance. Okay? Does the 20-day moving average mean anything for today? Of course not. Right? Where, where we end up probably by the end of the week after CPI, Fed, and quadruple expiration and dividends, buy goes ex-dividend Thursday night, is going to tell a more, uh, much more important picture, okay? This is really one huge balance here, 
Okay, this is my kind of my line in the sand, this one right here. Any acceptance below that, this gap is going to get filled. If we don't get acceptance below there and we get acceptance above here, which is the top of our five-day balance, well, then you should go test September's highs again. And if you get any acceptance above September's highs, we could finally break that succession of lower highs. I hope you had a good day trading. Thanks for the likes and subscribing. Enjoy your evening, and we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.